take note of how most Wilco and city politicians have severe conflict of interest yet claim they're doing good, doing good job. Yes, they are. If putting people in harm's way and allowing housing to be built in areas low on available water is good, or building more when it's hard enough on EMS as is. They're so proud of it, they mark what they decide is theirs. All while driving us into massive debt with zero interest to roadie problems they create. Shift blame on the people when problems arise. That's what that's what they're doing. Create a problem, offer to fix it, then when it doesn't work, create more issues no one wants. Few, if any, take responsibility. I will concede that their actions they do on their own is our fault. Let's fix the problem by not letting them have a horse in the upcoming race. With early voting, we can avoid the same toxic people destroying our lives and land with great zeal. When the vermin in the field is advantageous to denounce them, then there will be no fault. Last week, I talked about how we have someone who deals with medical boards, another who's an architect, yet non-adequate construction for our area continues to be built. Another who mucks money to suit their personal agendas, yet claims to lack the ability to do so for our own good. As I, as I see how this construction is being conducted, a politician conjures up an idea that will create a problem, tell everyone it's what people want, then offer a solution to the problem they created. The solution is not profitable, so said the politician, and then decides the only way to make it work is to destroy more. Again, they claim people want it. Not su surprising, when I ask people, they say they don't want their land stolen and destroyed, yet this county insists on doing just that. Trees older than our nation are being chopped down for no reason. Needless construction and housing being filled by those who don't care about our land or way of life. Farms being paved over. Realtor and contractors allowed to claim care of land get destroyed with zero hesitation. Where do you think your food comes from? Almost 100% starts on farms. Every farm paved gives companies like Monsanto ground. When they control most or all food production, they'll do what they want, including setting prices. Don't like it too bad. Eat what's available or starve. You build it, they will come. Stands to reason, don't, and they won't. No different than allowing a stranger in your house, letting them dictate actions. Seems well and good for me to defend your ways of life. When it's time to protect mine, I'm treated as a fool. Thank you.